What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft with Marty. And guys, I've got the sugarcane farm pretty much done. Actually, not pretty much. It is done. So let me show you guys what it's all about. So we've got two pistons pushing the slime blocks all connected like that. And the only reason it does that little U-shape is that when I look at it from this angle, it's nice and done and looking good right we don't see slime blocks or anything crazy like that so let's hop in I'll show you how the redstone is it's pretty simple I'm pretty sure I showed you guys this last episode this is just a pulse um, like a conditioner it takes two pulses and turns it into one so when that goes usually it goes click click and now it goes click that goes on that has a longer delay so it locks that on and then by the time that's done with the second click it turns it off so it sucks everything back in so that's how that works uh, I've got two of them here set up, one running on b down below that, and uh, there we have it. That's it. So that is the braking mechanism. Now, this thing isn't 100%, and I couldn't get it 100%. I could, but I didn't. I chose not to. Um, but right here, if something's grown here, sometimes this will push it out and push it up into there. So when it retracts, it falls down and lands on the sand. Um, now, alternatively, I could put that one here and this one there, and then have a solid block up here that's not going to stick to anything, and then it would be 100%, but I'm not really too worried about that, you know, missing maybe one or two every once in a while. So, I like it. It works pretty good. And then we've got the large chest here with some sugar cane in it. So, let's go ahead and break down here. And I've just got the same, basically the same thing as I did over there by the nether wart farm. Uh, except for running this all in one line, I ran the one that ties into the side of the comparator on this side of the block, and then this one pulses into this to fire that, to fire that, so on and so forth. So that's how that thing works. Uh, <clears throat> so let's try it out. And we've got crazy lag when this thing fires on. Look, look at that. Look at that. Seven frame or 11 frames per second, 13 frames per second. It's horrible. <clears throat> it's horrible. I don't know why. But I think it's a bug in Minecraft itself, because that's a pretty simple circuit for it to be causing that much lag. And that is still not fixed, because we don't have a new snapshot. Hopefully that does get fixed sometime soon. Um, but today what I'd like to do, guys, is let's head down. I've, I've got a whole bunch of glass. <laughs> and I've got a new pick called mine. And let's head down here. Let's go super speed. Why can't I go super speed? That's weird. Couldn't go super speed on that one. So if we go down over here to the, the slime chunk, you'll see that I have done some work. And I want to get this thing kind of finished up today. Um, with the exception of probably our killing mechanism, because that's going to take me some thought. i got to figure out how to do that and how I want to do that. So watch you. Watch you. Whoop! <laughs> and the slimes fall. Man, it was like super quiet. I didn't hear any sound from the game whatsoever. I'm like, uh, is the sound working? So there we go. So we've got a slime ball. Just one. There we go. So what I want to start doing is <clears throat> breaking everything out, three blocks out, and then probably we'll go, I don't know, maybe we'll start some glass like... there something like that I gotta I, we're gonna have to see if the big slimes can go in through there so leave two right yeah so I guess we'll just have to check if it doesn't work then I'll just be deleting a whole roll of things there we go oops let's get the glass down here I just want to be able to see in that should be good here. So we'll do this all the way up. So I've got uh, one whole wall done. I've got more glass down there cooking, but I had eight stacks of glass. I got like three layers up on that and then this whole one. So yeah, we're, uh, we're definitely, it's definitely going to take some time to do this. And I think we should have a stairway 
right here. Let's go straight down with this. We're going to have a stairway right, like, smack dab in the middle. All right, we're going to actually use stairs. We're not going to do water. It's going to be crazy. All right, let's get this going up. And then we're going to have to build up, too, because I want platforms on each one of these. So we're going to have, like, platforms. That way I can see in if I need to. Stand up here and be like, okay, nothing's there. Uh, is anything here? Let's check it out. Yeah, get a little... That, that should be good. Just a little too wide platform Oops. to stand on all these. I think that'll be nice. Now, I did find out that the big slimes will not go through that space. They will get stuck. However, I think I'm going to keep it like that because I think we can use that to our benefit. I think we can use that little feature to our benefit. So I've got a lot more of this to do. i got to go all around all sides. I don't know why I have to, but I'm going to. <laughs> I don't know if there's an actual I have to do this, but... Uh, I'm going to because I think it'll look kind of cool the way I have it in my mind, how that had this thing set up. So yeah, I got a little more work to do, quite a bit of work to do. So I'll be back, I guess. Jeez, it seems like all you need to do is just build a slime farm and you're going to have slime balls for life. But anyway, guys, I'm back and um, well, I've done a little bit of work. Let me see if I have any more. No, I had some white concrete that I used down there. Uh, actually, I'm going to use all of my andesite. Every last bit of it. Yep, every last bit of it. And I'll show you what progress I've made so far. And also, actually, before we go there, we're going to do a little whoop, a little pit stop here at some, uh, at some lava level and get a little bit of lava. Because what we're going to do is a lava blade killing mechanism for the slimes. And then we're going to use gravity for the baby slimes. Anything bigger than baby is going to get killed with some lava. And it's going to be great. Alright, we're going to like it. Alright, so let's head up. There we go. And this is our stop. Whoa! There's our stop. Let's head over this away. So, how I've got it set up. I did one of them so far. And I haven't even been able to really test it to make sure it works. Oh man, I was like, that's going to be a long drop, but it wasn't. So I've got the very top one, just one, and that's how it goes. So you can't really see because it's all glass, but you know we've got glass under here. The lava comes out. It goes onto this uh, sign and then comes out, and it won't spread any further from that. So the big slimes will come. They'll just inherently hit that. They'll get broken down in four littler slimes. And then those four littler slimes, is littler a word, will jump and then hit it. And then they'll break down into the smallest of the slimes. And then those guys, when they jump, they'll get to about like right here underneath it. Maybe top level with top of the sign. And then they'll be able to make it through this gap. They'll hit this hole. They'll fall all the way down and, until they're doomed. And then that will be it. And then I'll, uh, I'll have hoppers and stuff set up down there so I can pick up and gather up all of the slime. So, yeah, they'll be like, doop, 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 hit it, boom, squishy, 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 medium slimes, jump, hit it, squishy, 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 <laughs> little baby slime, and then all the way down. So that's how it's going to go. And uh, right now I'm just kind of working on filling in my borders because I think I want to get the borders down first before I do anything else because I just want somewhere nice to be able to walk. You know what I mean? While I'm while I'm working. All right, guys. I'm all done with level number one. I've got the pumpkins down. I've got all the good things happening. And uh, we are ready to go for our, our, our first one and only completed 100% done slime farm level. Uh, actually, I'm going to get like some different blocks along the outside just to make it look a little nicer up here um but we've got one down and eight more to go so it's gonna take some serious time for me to finish this all up oh actually did i did i close that up yeah i did all right it's gonna take me some serious time to finish it all up and last time you know like it was all bulky and big out there so i did change this just slightly i sacrificed one area of spawning 
That way it can be all completely closed off. Instead of having my hole here, I moved it in one that way because the big slimes or the medium slimes won't fall through this one hole. Um, and then I'm not seriously not gonna lose much sleep over missing four little spawning spots for these slimes. So it should be good to go. Um, now it was kind of funny. I, uh, I was reviewing my episode, or not episode, my segment for the last clip. And I was like, you know what? <laughs> I'm not going to copy anybody. But then I looked at this and I was like, I'm, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure Etho did something just like this where he was killing the slimes with, uh, or breaking them all down into smaller bits using the lava blades. Um, I didn't copy his design. However, I copied his method. <laughs> so um, I think that's a little different than me like straight up going to a tutorial and looking at, um, this is how you do the thing and this is where what it is. But this is like the most effective way that I, I, I can think of to kill the slimes. Um, I did have a thought where I could have them all jump off the edge and then land and hurt themselves. And then they get swept away into a water stream and brought way back up high and get dropped again. Just so it's like continuously dropping them and killing them. And then if it doesn't kill them, it just keeps doing it over and over. But I was like, that sounds like too much work. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Um, but instead I'll just do all the lava blades. So anyway, we've got one level done and I think we're going to finish off the episode. Oh, I thought I was going to make it, but I didn't. We're going to finish off the episode with something I need badly. I've got a hat and the hat's got a bunch of, uh, bunch of enchantments on it. And actually I'm going to need to do a new one because that's not exactly what I want. I don't want protect projectile protection. I want regular protection. Um, but I need some boots. So we're going to go. We're going to go get some boots. We're going to finish up today on a special, special boot. <laughs> the boot episode. Das boot, we shall call this, this, uh, this pair of boots. And some of you may get the reference, some of you may not. But Das boot, let's go with four of these. One, two, three, four. Let's make ourselves some boots. <gasps> I might not have enough levels to do this. All right, I've got... I've got these things. Okay, so I want Depth Strider, Protection 4, Unbreaking 3, and Feather Falling 4. That should be everything that I want on this pair of boots. Cost me 6. Cost me 4. I'm down to 7. 6. Cost me 14 to get Feather Falling. Oh, cost me 14 to get Protection. So it looks like Depth Strider <laughs> and Unbreaking 2 is what we get. However... Let's try this again, shall we? And I forgot to rename it. I forgot to rename this. Oops. Okay, four levels. We should be good. So let's go with that. So it's going to be 15 to do. So we've got Depth Strider 3, Unbreaking 3, Feather Falling 4. And Protection. Oh, man, it goes up every time. Wow, this one's going to be expensive to do. 26 levels. All right, so I got to go get eight more. Is this it? Das Boot. Protection four. Oh, there we go. We've got ourselves our forever boots. Hopefully it's going to... Oh my God, it's going to cost a lot to, to repair these things. But we do have our new boots, guys. So that's good. Let's go try it out. Let's. I've got the perfect spot to try these out. And uh, let's see how much damage we ended up end up taking with protection and fire falling on or fire falling feather falling on it so let's go over to oops i, I don't know why i'm like all about hitting shift i think because i was playing pixar earlier and shift is like run so in which i switch all my keys for minecraft anyway so it's it's different it's different all right let's go try it out we got somewhere we can fall maybe here that's pretty far Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, we did pretty good there. We made uh, only a few hearts of damage. Four hearts of damage, three, three and a half, something That's like that. going to be all the time I've got for today, guys. I hope you all enjoyed the episode, Building the Slime Farm. I'm going to have to go through and do all eight levels like this. Let me know about your, uh, your thoughts on this. I'm not sure if I like how the... Um, the pumpkins look in there. We might change some of that stuff up a little bit later. I don't know. I just, I don't know. 
it looks kind of weird. I need to get a different pattern because since this is 16 by 16, there's no middle. You know what I mean? There's two blocks that are the middle, not one block. So it makes it look kind of weird because everything is just slightly off-centered. Uh, but let me know what your thoughts are, guys. I will catch you in the next episode. My name is Marty. Signing out. Peace.